there's this general consensus that you're not going to be able to handle Deontay Wilder's power. Um, Malik Scott even said he thinks it's going to end in three to four rounds in devastating fashion. What do you make of people sort of over or underestimating you? No, I like I watched him. I watched, um, no disrespect to Washington, but today I, I analyzed what Malik said mm -hmm. about Derek Chisora and the fight he brought over to fight Chisora versus what he actually done. Mm -hmm. And I realized that talk is cheap. People talk a lot, but they don't always deliver in terms that he said he's going to knock Chisora out. So I just mm -hmm. realized, you know, Malik is entitled to say what he believes and what he feels, but doing it is another thing. So while that... Malik isn't Wilder either. Mm. Malik is his coach, so Malik can't do what he believes for Wilder. Wilder has to do it. And remember, this is a game of chess. I'm going to take away what Wilder's best attributes are. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to stand there with my chin in the air and say, hit right. me. I'm going to nullify him. So good luck to him. It'll be a challenge. It'll be very challenging for him, for sure. And there is the response from Anthony Joshua as he responds to Malik Scott. To other critics about the punching power of Deontay Wilder and shout out to everybody that was in my live thousands of you guys thank you for stopping by dropping in uh, it was fun and I noticed a lot of you guys said the same thing Joshua won't be able to take Wilder's right hand listen no one will not even Tyson Fury not Alexander Usyk not anyone that steps in there to get hit with the right hand can really take it in succession. That's why you have to be cautious. That's why you have to be on your game plan. That's why you have to be focused. But one thing about Wilder, once that right hand is nullified or it's no longer valid, what happens to Wilder? He crumbles. We've seen that in 2020 when Wilder took his first L. Okay, A lot of people thought it was a second, but his first official L he took because the right hand was no longer valid. I don't know what was wrong with him. Maybe he was weak. Maybe, I don't know. But the right hand was not there, and he suffered the consequences greatly. Fight was stopped in seventh round. That's it. And Joshua, I remember a good friend of mine, Jules, from Ring IQ, he said the same thing. He said, Joshua is going to take that right hand and beat Wilder with it. Okay, and Joshua has the same game plan. What do you do with someone that has a hand that a right hand that vicious? You got to take it from him. You have to stop him from using it because if you don't, he's going to use it on you. And if he uses it on you and he's successful, that's the end of you. Okay, that's pretty much that. But Joshua told Malik Scott, talk is cheap. You know, every coach has a desire, has a game plan has a vision for their fighter. Everybody does, including Derek James. Derek James has that. But if you're a passionate guy like Malik Scott is, you know, you're going to uh, eventually be on that level of passion and, and, and intensity like um, Teddy Atlas, right? You're going to be that type of person, okay? You're going to be that guy. You're going to be uh, adequate and fixated on what you want your fighter to do. And he wants Deontay Wilder to take him out in two or three rounds because that's what Wilder does. If he heads and he wants an easy night to be done, he wants to take him out in two or three rounds. Because if it goes farther than that and Wilder is getting hit, Wilder is uh, constantly getting hit with the jab, he swells fast as well. However, we've seen Joshua get swole up a bit too. So, hey, no one's prone to getting swelled up, especially in the school of hard knocks, okay? But it's interesting to see this fight come into fruition. Uh, let's hope it gets done quickly without all the BS because we've had enough of that. You know what I mean? Especially with Joshua and Wilder and especially with this year overall with Usyk and Fury not happening. Um, so let's get that fight done and I think that should be the next fight. I don't think we should wait for Joshua to fight again. I think Joshua was thinking that maybe Wilder would be in December, you know, and then Fury or whatever or whoever. But let's see what Eddie Hearn, what magic he makes. Let's see if he does what he says he's going to do. You guys tell me what you think of Anthony Joshua responding to Malik Scott. Talk is cheap. Of course, please subscribe. 
and you guys would counterpunch. Peace!